folks, this is Iowether, um, and I know I've been away for a bit, but I'm back. And this is, well, it's supposed to be a tank destroyer. I think it's supposed to be a tank destroyer. It says it's a tank destroyer. It's a Universal Carrier 2-PDR something. Um... It looks like a box with tracks and a gun, to be honest. Um, and that, I mean, it's tier two. Okay, first and foremost, it's tier two. But that's less armor than an ELC has. It's less armor than a Hellcat has. That means that this is all made of paper. And that 10 millimeters, I'm betting that's not here. I'm betting that's only on the front of this turret. Alright, gun placement. I'm betting all of this is 7. Um, this might be your toughest bit because they have to shoot through your fuel tanks to get to you. I'm assuming that's your fuel tank. I don't know what that is. But oh, this tank does not fill me with confidence. But, I have uh, made it elite with couple grand in uh, free XP and now we're going to dive into a game with it. And Province. I haven't played Province since... You know, the last time I played Province might have been a Clan 4v4. I took a bunch of uh, big tier 6s in here. If we're wrong, uh, if we want to have some fun, we're over on this map with Hellcats and KB1S's. It's a lot faster game. But anyways, um... So because I have no idea how to use this tank, I'm gonna go really ultra defensive with it. And I'm gonna go find a bush. I'm gonna hide. And then maybe I'll shoot stuff. I'm kinda hoping our team doesn't get messed up. Let's get this show on the road. So... I guess that's a decent reload. I wasn't actually counting. Oh, it blasted off. I had a bunch of mods going earlier that now I have to go put them back on again. Which is going to sadden me. But oh well. For right now, i use this. I was say, why doesn't my mod tell me how long it's been on the reload takes? Well, because my mod isn't installed right now. It's been wiped out. That's okay. Can't see him there. Can't shoot that guy. I can shoot this guy, I think. Oh! That's not good. Oh, don't, don't, don't. We're dead for it. Everyone get out! Right, so... Holy crap, um, so this tank is, well, it's a gun mounted on a little bit of armor and wheels. It's kind of like the truest sense of a tank destroyer, or I think it's probably more like the truest sense of an SPG. Um, but yeah. It is more or less just a gun that moves around and shoots and stuff. I'm kind of glad I got killed off. I'm not certain what this BZ1 thinks it's going to do. I don't think that gun is accurate enough to shoot across the map. It's kind of cool that he's got enough support bar to choke me off a cliff. Well, I don't know if that speaks to how light my tank is or how good his tank is. Look. I have moved forward. I'm not sure why he showed up, but I was good cover for him. Find somebody in the battle. Ooh, this is a pretty sweet spot. I think I've done this once or twice with um, 
as well as they do in a bike tank. Put some actual speed on it. I'm not sure right for this particular tank, but you know, make do with what you got. Like uh, one of the uh, US light tanks. That's a lot of damage that thing's putting out. Um, I did not realize that it could put out that much damage that quickly. I've got to get my hands on one of those tanks. It's just more or less spraying and spraying. Because of how many Our shots it's hit. It could break any minute. We've lost the track. But track hit. Yeah, still. Wow. Hmm. Um, unfortunately, our support team is just kind of camping. That's to be expected. I mean, it is a tier 1 and 2 battle. Can't exactly expect them all to rush the base or something. I am kind of glad to see that they're not all rushing the base. And now I can understand why these guys are sitting back with these little beefy ones and firing so many shots, because they, they have what must be a hundred shots in that gun. At least. And they can just throw as many out there as they want to. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. They'll just reel up and fire them all again. Neat little tank, I'm gonna pick one up later. It's kind of nice to see the music so attached, so I'm gonna guess that this is probably a more experienced crew, these four tankers. Um, I don't know what their service records say, but the fact that they're you know, in, in cover, and circling, and not just charging straight in tells me. They know something about this game. Oh, well, that's a really great spot. Unfortunately, got the killing shot in. I forgot how likely the cruiser's turret was. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played Cruiser 3. For which I am thankful. Okay, so the other team's just got a few more guys left. Our team's just pretty much cleaning them up. I think it's firing three or four shots per burst. Let's try and count them there. Boom, boom, boom. So that's what? Three? I'm a bit tired. Yeah, it's, it's three shots per burst. That's pretty sweet. And I made next to nothing. But that's okay. Oh, wow. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna use that to help buy this thing. And we're gonna by the thing and mm, we're just gonna and go to the garage and to the depot and mm, bear with me for a sec while I sell this thing. Just I want to play a game in it, see how good or bad it was. I throw a crew into it. And by the way, you'll see some interesting stats on this crew. This is not actually from that tank. Uh, it was originally from my Crusader, which I just recently sold. Um, and so I just figured, since I had a spare crew in the garage, they might as well go into this new tank line. So that's why you'll see them having steel wall. And uh, apparently this guy was not part of the steel wall crew. Okay, whatever. Um, 
Let's grab this thing. Mount that thing. Buy that. I don't have enough to just grab a big gun. It's kind of it's slightly disappointing. This tank should move by the looks of it, though. Which horsepower is that? 165. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a little less than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay, so it's not going to move. My bad. But it has actual armor to it. So, 60 for a tier 3. It's actually really kind of nice. So this tank just went... At, I mean, at tier 3, 60 hull armor... There isn't a whole lot that's going to get through that. I mean, unfortunately, the other TDs that I'm going to go and try and kill, they're going to get through me. Not a whole lot else is, though. Uh, it's just a thingy. We're just going to jump into a battle. And this time, hopefully, I live past two shots. That would be the, um, the choice. So other than obviously the other Valentines, um, I, I don't think there's a whole lot here that can go through 60 hull armor, especially not if I angle it. And so this tank is pretty much just going to lumber forward. Why is somebody swearing consistently? Got to get ammo. Lovely. That's 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 just lovely. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. So apparently, our other Valentine is utterly useless, and he's just going to go and be escaped. So I'm going to go sit and push over here. while he lumbers across the field. And I'm not sure why our entire team is leaving. If, um, if he's just gonna lumber across the field. Hold on, whatever. Oh, aim's fairly decent. Oh, yeah, that was a nice shot. Okay, so that guy's down. There was no one. Can't hit either of those. Oh, hit him. One. Nope, he's dead. Can I shoot through? No, not. I can't really shoot through the windows. I could, I guess, but there's nothing really hit. I guess I could. Nah, not worth a shot. The Valentine is taking a beating though, going up there. I think I'm gonna try. Ah, no, that, that missed. Valentine was dead. Um, oh, is he still behind me? So let's see about this. Does the gun elevation? I do. My T18 is looking that long way. That's always helpful. But I missed. Oh, fair. I'm, I'm enjoying this tank's um, Enemy vehicle damage destroyed. output. In fact, that every time I've, I've hit something, I've tracked it. That's also a lot of fun. However, my team seems to be losing, which is bad. I'm, I'm also drawing the uh, the gun traverse on this thing. It's quite uh, quite a bit more than I expected it would be. I keep expecting to find the edge of penetration. What did I do? Oh, well. I keep expecting to find the edge of the. Uh, Traverse on it, but I don't ever really have. Uh, so we're gonna hit. Shot it anyway. Ah. It is not as accurate a long range as I'd like it to be. As you can tell by the fact that I'm firing off shot after shot and not making contact. But we are winning again, which is kind of nice. And there's the other Valentine. If I can 
get him, then our tanks are pretty much guaranteed to go over there. There's a T-57, which I can't see. So I'm just going to kind of shimmy forward. There's the other Valentine, who may or may not see me. Penetration. Oh, he knows I'm here now. We nailed it bad. Yeah, I think he sees me. Ricochet. Don't think it matters though. That's a lot of fun. And we're gonna try and put a shot on this guy. Our main gun is damaged. Man. It's working, but not very well. Don't expect him to go for uh, one of the little things to go through me. That's the dark penetration that I noticed. I don't have a repair kit because it's a tier 3 tank. There's the other Valentine. Do not want to give him free shots at me. The, uh. Hey. The hugeness of that circle is just going to kill me. I gotta get a lot, a lot closer for this to work. Thankfully we're winning. Apparently those PZ-1 actually deal with a lot of damage. That's a PZ-1C. That might be the one with a uh, whole bunch of speed on it. I can't really remember. I haven't played them. I can't tell yet. There's only two enemy tanks left, and I'm not going to get that kill over there, but I might get one. Get this kill. We've hit them hard! Okay. Oh, no. Didn't get that kill either. Oh, well. I did damage. Oh, he's not dead. So I'm just gonna roll over here and see what I can do. I guess they're probably just faced off on the corner. I'm wait. waiting to see if that would happen. Oh well. Didn't get as much as I would have liked. Part of that is a like damage gun. Not bad overall, maximum. I'm not exactly certain what that means. If somebody could tell me in the comments below, that would be so helpful. Um, yeah. That's probably not it. But sometimes I can't resist them hitting that button. Unfortunately, don't have enough to get to the next uh, thing. So, we're just going to end this video here. I'm going to grind up this tank then show you what the next one looks like. Uh, I'll, I will bring it back with this Top Gun on, I'm sure. With this Top Gun of... Holy smokes. Uh, it gets a howitzer. Lovely. Okay. Okay, so a 6-pound gun Mark IV isn't much better than a 6-pound gun Mark II that I have right now. A little bit better, better penetration. Um, and better accuracy. Ah, oh, good. Good, good. This thing, though, that thing's just gonna be nuts. 47 pen. Okay, pause for a second. Realize that we're talking about tier 3 here. Now, for tier 3s, 40 armor is a lot. For your average tier three. Now I don't have any other tier threes around here except for this thing. This is not. This is a tier two, but nowhere close to forty, and nothing else. Let's go pick up. So like a American tier three. So this thing. 
Um, so it has, yeah, a little close to 30. This thing, look at that, almost 40 at the front. And this thing, nope. We're not going to bother with that. Grab, like, this thing, nope. Um, this thing, nope. Um, go on to the Russians for a sec. I'm gonna worry about the French. The French have no armor. No, no, well, that's actually not true. Nope. Nope. And nope. So front French tier threes. Well, this thing has paper for armor. I'm sure it has armor. There. There you go. That's super, That's 40 all around on a D2. And this has 60 in the front and 40 everywhere else. Okay. So what that means is in its tier, this tank that we have, wherever it landed, yes, it's right from me. Wrong. Sure. Whatever. Valentine? can punch through everything with that howitzer in its tier. Now when you start going up a tier, it's a little bit trickier. Than, uh, yeah, see? But, not a whole lot. So in its tier, this thing with a howitzer, run. Don't, don't bother stopping, just run. Kill them. Kill them with fire. Fast. That's kind of my, uh, uh, everything. So, I'll be working up towards that howitzer, and I'll show you again with it when I finally get to it. But for right now, this particular test drive is over, so have fun. And, um, remember, the British tank to Starline, um, it's out there, folks, and it's worth a try. Though the tier one really is just a gun on some tracks. This one has some armor to it. Um, a lot more armor. I'd be very curious to actually find out how thick this is. Um, as soap and everything. As it is, I don't think it's 60. Uh, it might be 40 or. Oh, I did not notice all that ammo. Alright, so don't get shot here or here, ever. For any reason, um, because you will simply explode. Wow. Okay. Well, that's fun. I feel sorry for that guy down there. That's the driver's seat. It's just okay. Through this little hatch, this gun fires over top of him. That's gotta be insane. Well. Yeah, so have a good night, folks. Enjoy your uh, your new British tanks. And go to wreck, wreck some people's days. Have a good night. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. I'll see you later. I'm IO Ether. I'm signing out.